Good morning. It is Wednesday the 20th of January. Now I'm up recording uh, this morning greeting and the sun is just about to rise and it's just about to rain. Apparently it's going to rain all day. I do hope you manage to get outside at some point today but it might have to be with coats and maybe even wellies if it gets really bad. So your characters yesterday were absolutely amazing. It was lovely to see you really using your double adjectives to describe their features and also their personality. That's going to come in really handy today in today's literacy. So I thought I would share another article from this magazine The Week. Now five years ago Tim Peake carried out the first spacewalk by an official British astronaut. Now you won't remember that because you were far too young, but that was five years ago. And so this article is all about the ISS. Now do you know what the ISS is? It's the International Space Station. And it was built in and launched in 1998 and it's made of lots of different modules that fit together to create one large spaceship. It's a joint project between the US, Russia, Canada, Japan and the European nations, including the UK. And crew live on board the International Space Station all year round. thought that this was quite interesting, so I'm going to share this. It's life on board. The ISS, including living and research areas, has around the same space as a five bedroom house. So there's up to six astronauts plus visitors can live there at the same time. It can get cramped, so everything is designed to save space. Now get this. So you've just woken up. You've just had a nice sleep in your bed. Astronauts sleep in small cabins that have a sleeping bag tied to the wall. The crew don't need mattresses or pillows because they live in microgravity and so float. Can you see him floating in his bed? Microgravity means that there is much less gravity, which is an invisible force that causes every object to pull every other object towards it on the ISS than on Earth. And this means astronauts can float and push heavy items with their fingertips. Last bit, the danger of crumbs. There is no fridge on the ISS and food needs to be stored in sealed packets. No bread is allowed because it causes crumbs that float away and get into equipment. Instead, the crew use tortillas. Similarly, salt and pepper only come in liquid form in case it tips over. The lack of gravity means that if you pee in space, the liquid would float around. So. Astronauts use a special toilet. One part is a tube with a funnel on the end, which has a fan that sucks the urine into a storage container. Now, there's no running water in space, so the urine is recycled and turned into fresh water that the astronauts drink. Wow. So, today, we have been doing some brain gym over the last few days. So have you been managing to point to the two? Okay. How did you get on with the triangle and the rectangle? Now I find this one quite tricky, so triangle and the rectangle. It's a good idea with the triangle and the rectangle just to, st oh, I went a bit wrong there. To start off with your triangle and then your rectangle and then join them together. Today's brain gym is going to be the ear and the nose. So you're going to point to your nose and then with this hand you're going to wrap it round and pinch your ear. Now it's your own ear so if you pinch it and hurt it, well, you know. So just gently pinch your ear. Now you're going to swap that over but you're going to do a big movement in front of you like this. Whoosh now you're pointing with your other hand and this hand is pinching this ear just gently there okay so you're going to go like this you don't have to make the noise <laughs> okay 
have a little go today. So you've got three brain gym exercises. When should I be doing brain gym? Well, I think it's great before maths because it connects those two sides of the brain, gets them working together really well. Any time when you need a, just a quick break and you just need to oh, just get, your, get a, little, a few moments, have a go at it today, see how you get on. Today's work is, oh, I mustn't forget. Don't forget to read. Um, make sure that you're reading something. Don't forget to check out Oxford Owl if you've run out of things at home. TT Rockstars, Mrs Smith is busy checking on them as our maths coordinator and I'm looking at them as well. And, hmm, was there one more thing? Reading, TT Rockstars, oh, J2E. Don't forget to log on to J2E if you want to practice some of your English skills. So today your teachers are looking forward to seeing your maths. So have fun.